Getting started with Pocket Lab Air. To start using your Pocket Lab Air, first go to the Pocket Lab app at thepocketlab.com slash app. To start collecting data, press Start Collecting Data on the home screen. It will take you to this Trials page. Then click Connect a Pocket Lab, and your Bluetooth connection screen will pop up. Press the top button on your sensor and the device will start to flash red and green. That means the Pocket Lab Air is ready to pair. You should see it pop up in the Bluetooth window. Select your device and press pair. There will be a connecting menu that pops up while the device is configured. Once the device has connected, you will see graphs of all the data coming from the Pocket Lab Air. Scroll down to see each measurement. On the top left, you have particulate matter. On the top right, you have ozone. Below that is carbon dioxide and the air quality index or AQI score. Below those readings are the measurement conditions, so the air temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and light intensity, and then a graph and map showing the nearby air quality measurement stations from the air quality management districts in your local area or the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA. To Start recording, scroll to the bottom, and there is a record button that will allow you to save your data. Or to reconfigure this view, collect, uh, click on the switch graphs button, and then you can unselect any of these graphs that you don't want to see and select just the options of what you do want to see. In this case, we will record all the data from all the graphs by pressing the record button. Now all the data is being saved to our computer and we can stop this recording at any time. To get the most accurate readings from your Pocket Lab Air, you should let the device warm up for 10 to 15 minutes and the measurements to settle to a steady state. You will often see large changes in the data when you initially turn on the device as the fan starts to pull in air that it then analyzes and takes the readings from. At any point, you can stop the data collection and review the data that you have collected. The red graph shows the instantaneous reading, and the blue graph shows a 10-minute running average of that data. This 10-minute running average helps to smooth out any small changes in the data and helps you analyze it after you've recorded. You can choose to save this data either to the app, download it as, download it as a CSV file, upload it to Google Drive, or you can take a screenshot of the current graph view. Once you've saved your data, you can then clear the graphs and start to collect new data by pressing the record button. You know the Pocket Lab Air is connected when you see the LED indicator on the top of the device flash purple. And it will flash purple every five seconds while it's connected. On the front of the sensor, you can see where the air sample is pulled in on this side of the device and then blown out 
through the sensor through these gratings. The air passes over each of the uh, measurement devices for readings of the particulate matter, the ozone, CO2, and then the ambient conditions of temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. The map of the air quality measurement stations are pulled from publicly available data sources.